Hey everyone, me again. This is part two of my makeup organisation series. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I organise my glitters, mascaras, eyeliners and eyeshadow palettes. If you missed my last video, which was a bit of an introduction to the series, I have the IKEA Alex drawers and I'm using the Stroja cutlery inserts as draw dividers. I'll link both of those things below. Let's get started. I thought I would turn this drawer into somewhere with my glitters, false eyelashes, and possibly my nail polishes as well, or products that can transform a look from day to night. To start off with, I've got some face and body gems from Primark and Gypsy Shrine. So I'd like to put them in this bit at the back just so that they don't kind of clutter up everything else in the drawers. I'm going to put all my glitters in this section. Most of my glitters are from Evolve Cosmetics. I also have a couple from Barry M and some from Paint Glow as well. If you don't already know this, I should probably mention that I do creative editorial inspired makeup looks on Instagram and that's why I have a lot more kind of sparkly things in my collection than the average person. I also have this Revolution glitter paste as well as a chunky glitter from Paint Glow that I'm just going to put in this section here with some liquid eyeliners and glitter liners. I want to put some glitter glue in this section as well. So I've got one from Revolution and I've got one from Stargazer here. And these are my glitter eyeliners. So I've got three from W7 that I got in a set from Cheshire Oaks. There's also this one from Tanya Burr, which I'll be honest, I'm thinking of throwing away because as you can see, there's just not very much glitter or sparkle there at all. And then, especially when you compare it to this W7 one, which has just so, so much more glitter in it, and you can see it a lot better. Yeah, the colour is pretty much the same, so I think I'm going to get rid of the Tanya Burr one. I've got some face gems, these are from Evolve Cosmetics and I'm just going to keep them in this section for now. There's a few more here. I'm going to put my nail polishes in this third section here. I'm also going to add some cuticle oil to this drawer as well as my nail hardener from Essence and some brush on false nail glue from Elegant Touch. I'm going to add some false eyelash glue to this drawer as well, just because this seems like a logical place to put it. I do want to put some false eyelashes in here as well. These are from AOA, they're called the Cara Lashes. I would really like to wear these quite soon. I've got various sets of individual lashes from eBay, which I'm just going to tuck in here. I have some larger lashes as well, which I might tuck towards the back and underneath other products, just because I'm not as likely to reach for them. And then I think I'm actually going to move my little packets of face gems to this drawer just so I can see them a bit more easily. And then these ones can just go on top of there. In fact, I'm just going to put those over there. I don't think these eyelashes will fit in here actually. Well, they will, but like I don't want to put too much stuff at the back of the drawers because that's when things fall to the back of these drawers and then I have to pull them out. So yeah, I'll put them to one side and I'll figure something out for them later. There is still a little bit of space in this section, so I'm just going to add some Heavenly Hands Balm. I got this as a PR sample ages ago. It's really nice on the cuticles, so I'll just put that there because then it's next to the nail stuff. And one last loose pack of face glitter just to finish off the drawer. And that's it! Yes, I am wearing my pyjamas because this whole thing is taking significantly longer than I originally anticipated. So I'm just going to get started and put all my eye products in here. Basically everything except eyeshadow palettes. I have a vast eyeshadow palette collection and it's not going to fit in here. I'm going to put mascaras in this section here. As you can see, I have a lot of unopened mascaras. I have quite a few that I've got sealed up just so that I don't have too many open at the same time. I tend to get cheaper mascaras in bulk. Basically, if there's anything that I can't typically order online really easily, I normally get a couple of them just to have them hanging around. I found this really, really old Elizabeth Arden mascara. I actually got this last year during a Feel Unique competition. I didn't even know that this was still in my drawer, so I'm definitely going to get rid of that. That's really old. 
I might as well put eyebrow products in the middle compartment. This is the only brow pomade that I have, but I would really like to try another one, maybe one from Revolution next time. I've got a few of the Rimmel Professional Brow Pencil in Hazel. This used to be my favourite eyebrow pencil, so I just bought it in bulk whenever it was on free for two. A lot of these are really short and I did really really like them but at the moment I just don't reach for them. I prefer brow pencils that don't need sharpening. So I'll hang on to the tallest one. I'll just hang on to one in case I want to have a little bit of variety for my videos but honestly I think I just prefer other brow pencils at the moment. I've got a few other eyebrow pencils as well. This one is from CYO. I actually really like this. Not as much as my L'Oreal one but it's still really nice. I have the AOA brow sculpting pencil. I'll be honest this isn't my favourite favourite but I'll keep it just in case I need it for a future video and this collection one also isn't my favourite it's just way too soft way too pigmented to do subtle brow like hairs I might try using this as an eyeliner actually I'll put it in the eyeliner compartment I have some backups of the Essence Make Me Brow brow gel I'm using a L'Oreal brow gel at the moment but I really like these so I sometimes have a few backups in my collection. I have the AOA Go Brow Fiber Gel here. This is supposed to be clear, but it actually goes on kind of white. And I really don't like this product, so I think I'm just going to move this along. I'm going to put my eyeliner pencils in this bit here. I have some from Barry M. I have some more colorful ones from Primark. There are some twist up ones. I have some slightly chunkier pencils from Barry M and Hema. I really like these. A few more colourful ones. I found a couple more Primark eyebrow products. I'm not the biggest fan of liquid eyeliner. I don't really have very many, so I think I'm just going to put them in the same drawer as my eyebrow products because that's also a little bit sparse. I've got this brown one from Barry M. There's this green one from the Shop Miss A website. There's this eyeliner pen from Primark, which I really like. There's this eyeliner pot from Amuse, which I also got from the Shop Miss A website. It's a little bit sheer than like the Maybelline one, but it's really cheap and I actually quite like it. I can go in there. I've got this liquid eyeliner from NYX. I absolutely love these, but they're discontinued. I used to have the gold one as well, but I think that dried up a while ago. This one's still okay. I have quite a few like cream eyeshadow sticks and liquid eyeshadows. This one from Primark is absolutely stunning. I really like the NYX ones as well. I think every beauty vlogger on YouTube has this Kiko cream eyeshadow stick. I love this. I'm going to put my single eyeshadows in this drawer at the back. I don't reach for them that often, but I still like to have them around. This gold one from NYX is really nice. I really love the single eyeshadows from Maybelline. I wish they still made these. I've got some single eyeshadows from Poundland and they are such good quality. It's insane how pigmented they are. The colours are absolutely stunning. I really need to get some more of these. I don't think they make the single eyeshadows at Revolution anymore, but I wish they did. They're really pretty. I've got this little eyeshadow trio from Glow Minerals and this quad from NYX. They're too small to be stored with my other palettes, so I'll just put those in there. And some little eyeshadow samples from Urban Decay. I got this eyeshadow from AOA. It's okay, like the colour really wasn't what I was expecting. It looks very different in real life to how it looks online. But I think I might want to reach for this in the autumn, so I'll hang on to it for now. I have a few other cream eyeshadows in little pots. So I have this one from Primark, which is like a bronze one. And I have two Maybelline colour tattoos here. I think I'm going to put the Maybelline colour tattoos there because then I can just see them in here a little bit more easily because I think I really will want to use them in autumn and winter and this one from Primark. I don't really use this a lot if I'm being completely honest, but I want to hang on to it just in case I do another Primark makeup video. This is a little bit bougie. It's actually a contour kit from Illamasqua. My friend Natasha gave this to me. She used up the contour shade and she doesn't really like the highlighter. So I use this as an eyeshadow. So that's it for my smaller products. And now I'm going to show you how I've been organizing my palettes. So when I was going through my Ikea drawers, I realized very quickly that I didn't want to store them in those drawers anymore. There's just too many of them. It wasn't easy to kind of look through them and see what was there. So I've decided to have them out on display on this set of drawers. 
Originally I was thinking of having them in this little basket from Primark. I got this a while ago and this would be absolutely perfect if it was just a little bit wider. As you can see some of my bulkier palettes just don't fit in there. So I knew I would have to go for something else and I think I've come up with something. So I was looking on Pinterest and loads of people use something like this to store their eyeshadow palettes. This is a letter tray. I got mine from Primark. This was £4.50. You can get these in basically any homeware store. I've seen these in John Lewis as well in a really pretty copper rose gold colour, but they were obviously triple the price, so I got these ones instead. Now the great thing about these is that they're obviously a bit longer, so they'll fit in more eyeshadow palettes, and it also will allow me to just be able to thumb through them and see what's in my collection a bit more easily. I've actually picked up two of these, but we'll start out with the one for now. I'm going to try to keep my larger palettes at the back and then the smaller ones at the front. So I'm just going to start off with this, this custom eyeshadow palette. I got mine from Freedom. It is a little bit broken, unfortunately, but I love it all the same. And then I've got a few more larger palettes from Revolution. Most of my palettes are from Revolution, by the way. I love this one. This is the Flawless palette. I've also got the Flawless 4. This is a bit warmer. The I Heart Revolution chocolate bar palettes are quite big, so I'm going to put those in next. There's the 24 karat gold palette, the Naked Chocolate palette, Salted Caramel, I Heart Chocolate, and the Nudes palette. We've got some of the cheaper nude palettes from Revolution as well. This one is the Iconic Free palette, and this one is the Velvet Rose palette. I've also got the Salvation palette from Revolution as well. I've also got this Love Contours All palette by NYX. This has got a little bit of everything in here. I've got the Stila in the Light palette. The Urban Decay Naked palette. The MUA Luxe palette. This is the Too Tempting eyeshadow palette. It was in a Tanya Burr Christmas gift set. And I've also got a few other smaller palettes from Collection. There's this limited edition Little Mix palette. There's Your Style, Your Mood. The pans are really small, but it's really good quality. We also have the Eyes Uncovered Nude Bronze palette, which has loads of really similar colours to the Urban Decay Naked palette in here. Love this. So that's all my eyeshadow palettes. It's actually not looking as crowded as I thought it would. There's definitely room for a bit more in here, so I'm going to put my face palettes in here as well. I don't really have that many, so there'll be plenty of room. I've got this highlighter palette from AliExpress, the Revolution Powder Contour Palette in Fair, a colour correcting palette, and the Ultra Blush Palette, which I absolutely love. And that is my eyeshadow storage complete. As you can see, it did start to get a little bit more crowded towards the end, so I've just taken the Urban Decay Naked palette and I've just tucked that on the side. I still think it looks really nice like that, but I could easily spread it out over two letter trays if I wanted to, but I'm perfectly happy to just keep it like that. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and you found it helpful. Subscribe if you're new around here. I make new videos twice a week, and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.